My name is Lauren Gleason. I'm a registered dietitian and board certified specialist in kidney nutrition. And in this video, we are gonna be talking about my top seven breakfast ideas for people who have kidney disease and are not on dialysis. And if you like videos like this and you want me to make more, then be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to let me know. Okay, if you have CKD and are not on dialysis, you are probably following a low protein diet and wondering, what can I eat for breakfast that is also low in sodium and low in phosphorus? Well, you've come to the right place for kidney-friendly breakfast ideas. Idea number one, smoothies. Smoothies are an excellent way to get in lots of healthy fruits and vegetables into a single, easy, delicious meal. The key to making a kidney-friendly smoothie for people who have CKD and are not on dialysis is to skip the protein powder and make sure you include lots of healthy fats. The fats are gonna help balance out the carbohydrates from the fruits and vegetables, which is gonna make your meal more satisfying and avoid blood sugar spikes. We like to use avocado, nut butters, coconut oil, and even unrefined peanut oil if you like the taste of peanut butter, but you don't want the protein. Also, be sure to sneak a vegetable into your smoothie. Our favorites are spinach and carrots because of their mild taste. For fruits, the variety is truly endless, and I highly recommend checking out our fruit and vegetable tool on our website. Um, this is gonna show you what fruits and vegetables are available, how much fiber they have, and how much potassium they contain. Um, I'll put a link in the description of this video just to make it easy on you to find, but it's really, really a very great tool to use. Lastly, we recommend a sweetener of some sort in your smoothie. Just be careful with added sugars. If you've already got a lot of fruit, your smoothie is gonna have a lot of natural sugar. I prefer to use a no calorie sweetener like stevia or monk fruit to bring out the sweetness of the fruit without adding any unnecessary sugar. Um, and if you need a recipe, you can check out our recipe for a low protein blueberry banana peanut smoothie to include in your kidney friendly breakfast. Idea number two. Yogurt and fruit. Yogurt contains probiotics, which make it a healthy superfood for your kidneys. There have been several studies of probiotics and kidney disease that have found some pretty incredible associations between probiotics and people with CKD, such as decreased odds of proteinuric kidney disease, decreased urea levels in CKD patients, lower levels of inflammation in patients with CKD, and even improved glucose metabolism in patients with diabetic kidney disease. Just be sure to choose a kidney-friendly yogurt for your renal diet breakfast. Many yogurts contain unhealthy additives or they've got too much protein, so choosing the right kind is very important. And we actually have a complete food guide on yogurt that's linked from this page, and it's gonna show you exactly which yogurts are low in protein and contain no phosphorus additives. Now, a single cup of yogurt is probably not going to be enough food for breakfast, so we do recommend pairing it with your favorite fruit to ensure that you're eating enough fruits and vegetables. Um, and I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but if you sign up for our course, we talk a lot about why it is so important, especially for people with kidney disease, to be eating more fruits and vegetables. Also on our website, you can check out our recipe for a delicious blueberry banana yogurt parfait with the complete nutrition information listed. Idea number three, oatmeal. Oatmeal is a low potassium, high fiber whole grain that is an excellent breakfast idea for people with kidney disease. There's even research that suggests that consuming oatmeal may have a beneficial impact on albumin and potassium levels in people with CKD. You can choose from steel cut oats, rolled oats, or the quick cooking oats. And if you're not much of a cook and you prefer to buy your oatmeal pre-flavored, we have an entire food guide on what pre-flavored oatmeals are best for people with kidney disease. You've really gotta be careful with these pre-flavored ones, um, the amount of sodium they have and whether or not they've got phosphorus additives. But we do make it super easy with our food guide. We list out exactly which ones you guys can buy that are low in sodium and don't contain any additives. Otherwise, if you're up for coming up with your own, check out our recipe for kidney-friendly apple cinnamon oatmeal. Idea number four, cold cereal. If you've got zero time in the morning or you just have zero cooking skills, uh, cold cereal might be your best bet. Now, many cereals do contain phosphorus additives that are bad for people with kidney disease. Some of them are gonna have too much sodium, some cereals have too much protein, but 
Once again, we've done the hard work and we've picked out the best cereals that you can buy for your kidneys. These cereals are gonna be high in fiber, low in sugar than most cereals, plus they're gonna be lower in protein. And if you don't like eating your cereal dry, then you'll also need to consider which type of milk is best for your kidneys. Most milk is too high in protein and many of the milk alternatives are high in phosphorus additives, but here at Kidney Foodie, we have reviewed all the options and we've created a list of kidney-friendly milk just to make it easy on you to find a milk that is low protein and contains no phosphorus additives. So enjoy that milk and cereal. Idea number five, and this might be a shock to some people, pancakes. But the catch here is that you absolutely have to make them at home. So most pancakes contain baking powder to make them fluffy. And unfortunately, baking powder is just one big phosphorus additive. Uh, it doesn't seem like much, but the amount of phosphorus that is added is really quite a lot. Um, additionally, the majority of syrups on the market are packed full of phosphorus additives. Fortunately, pancakes can still be part of a kidney-friendly breakfast because we have found several pancake mixes that you can buy that use a kidney-friendly baking powder instead of the phosphorus one. And we've also identified all the kidney-friendly syrups on the market, so you can definitely still enjoy pancakes for breakfast if you have kidney disease. If you want, you can also check out our kidney diet breakfast recipe for kidney-friendly pancakes with syrup, where we help you balance out the high carbohydrates of the pancakes with some fat to make your meal more satisfying and reduce blood sugar spikes. Breakfast idea number six, hash. If you've got a little extra time on your hands in the morning and you prefer a more savory breakfast, then whipping up a hash for breakfast is a great way to get in more veggies. Hash comes from the French word hacher, which means to chop. So chop up some of your favorite veggies and some potato. We personally prefer sweet potatoes and saute them in your favorite olive oil or fat. Onions, peppers, mushrooms, these are all great additions to your hash and you can get really creative with what types of vegetables and spices you include. Also, if you're having a hard time giving up meat, then check out our low protein sweet potato hash with sausage. We show you how to include some common breakfast meat in your meal to add flavor without adding too much protein. Last but not least, for number seven, we have trail mix. If you need something grab and go in the morning, then mixing up some trail mix for your kidney-friendly breakfast ahead of time is a great idea. An easy trail mix recipe is to include a serving of kidney-friendly cereal, some low-protein nuts, and some dried fruit. The cereal is gonna add high energy carbohydrates and fiber. The nuts are your source of fat, which helps make your meals more satisfying and also helps make uh, your blood sugars more even. The dried fruit contains vitamins and antioxidants. You just mix it all together, store it in an airtight container or bag so it's ready to grab and head out the door. And those are my top seven kidney-friendly breakfast ideas. As an added bonus, if you want to check out the webpage, you can see some additional information on enjoying coffee and tea with your breakfast. And again, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to let me know that you want to see more videos like this. Thanks.